Hello YouTube, update time once again, and I've got quite a lot of stuff to show you this time, so I'm going to get straight to it. First one is, the first thing I've got is the only cinema ticket since I've got since my last update, which was um, Dora and the Lost City of Gold. This was a really, really good film, based off the cartoon series Dora the Explorer. Um, you have been, if you haven't seen it then, you, then you must, it only just came out last week. And uh, if you've been a big fan of the cartoon from when you were younger, or even now, then definitely go and see that. Uh, I'll go and probably get some more cinema tickets as there's like, loads more films that I want to see. Next is the, probably the only book since I got since my last update, which is uh, Simon's Cat Wake Up. Um, this is from the Facebook page. Um, I got this uh, yesterday. I have another Simon's Cat book um, somewhere, and uh, basically it's just uh, like a lot of. Um, where's the. Simon Tofield. Uh, he's the artist of the. Of the drawings and it's just like a lot of photos and stuff that he's done and it's very colorful there's no like dialogue or anything to it but it's got like a really really lot of funny pages and that so it's definitely quite pleased to get that now on to the two vinyls since i got some last update and they're both seven inch ones uh alad jones walking in the air from the snowman obviously absolute brilliant song and of course what an amazing uh christmas film as well and the adverts as well are actually pretty funny, the Iron Brew adverts. If you're from Scotland, then you'll probably know what I mean. Uh, that's side one there. And that's side two there. This is the same, but it's the instrumental, so you'll just hear the music. Whoa. I'll put that back in the case that I can't afford to film on that on camera. And the second one I got here is Kylie Minogue, Je ne sais pas pourquoi. And uh, made, in, made in Heaven. Taken from the Kyle, album Kylie. Which I've got as well. And oh, there's a well, that's side two there, and side one. And again, I'm not going to bother putting that back in. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got this or not. I can't remember if I have it or not, but I thought I'd just get it as a spare copy. Now, I'm on to the DVDs, and I've got quite a lot of stories in, in this update, so I'm going to get straight on with it. First one is a fairly recent release, it only just came out uh, last week uh, Wonder Park. Uh, I went to see this at the cinema twice, it was really, really good. It's on uh, Paramount and uh, Nickelodeon. This was a really good film. I went to see this at the cinema twice with one of my friends from college. And it was a uh, really, really good film. Definitely recommend it. Uh, crap disc lay though, because uh, Paramount can't even bother bothered trying to get artwork on it. And I got this from HMV, brand new, as part of my birthday money. Which is what this update is all about. I'm just showing all the stuff that I got since my um, after my birthday. Uh, next one is well, a, lot, a lot of an older film list. Uh, Scarface with Al Pacino, the two-disc special edition. It's nice and shiny cover. It's on a Universal. I think this is from uh, 2004. Oh. And it's got like a lot of bonus uh, features on this as well. There's this two there, which is the um, special features. And disc one there, which is the film. Next one is Hatchet, A Dog's Tale, with Richard Gere and Joan Allen, based on the true story. Uh, I've been wanting to watch this film for a while, so I definitely will get the chance to watch that. Get to watch this in. It's on Entertainment and Video, released from 2008. I don't know when Entertainment and Video are going to change the logo, by the way, because they've had this since 1987, and they're still using that today. Even though that the um, logo changed on the screen in uh, 2003. Next one is There's Something About Mary. This is the original version. There's also another version out there called There's Something More About Mary, which is extra and loads more special features and stuff. But this is just the main one and the original. Very old DVD because it's got the old style 15 stuff on it. Uh, this is a good film. I like it. It's really, really good. Really funny. Next one is another brilliant movie, Edward Scissor Hands of Tim Burton, of course, and Johnny Depp, obviously. Uh, this is another old DVD. Well, actually, it's an old DVD because it's got the old PGs that have got on it, and quite a good looking PGs have got as as well. But inside it's actually a reprint because it's got like the modern PGs they've got on it, so I'm not sure when this disc was actually printed. And chapter points. I actually do like the background artwork on this as well. I can take this out. It's really, really cold by the look of it. Like, really cold artwork, because it is a cold film, but really, really good film if you haven't seen it. 
Next one is Blood of the Last Vampire from the creators of Ghost in the Shell. This is on manga, so it's a an anime um, film. Um, I haven't seen this, and it's meant to be very, very good, and it's meant to be a lot better than the live action um, version, which is a piece of shite. It's only like forty-five minutes or something, but still, still be good fun to watch. Comes with the chapter points in there, and uh, if I can get this back in, that'd be great. Oh, there's the disc itself. Next one is the one I watched last night, Sister Act, or Sister A as it says there, with Whoopi Goldberg uh, from Touchstone on Video. Uh, this is a good film, it is really, really good, but it's not the best film I've seen. I wouldn't say it, I put it high up on the film list as one of my favourite films to watch, but the style is a really fun film, definitely worth watching if you haven't already. Uh, next one is a very very underrated um, film and it's probably one of the only if you're um, this is quite a good thing to have if you're a Toy Story fan. Uh, Buzz Lightyear of Star Commander Adventure Begins starring Tim Allen obviously and obviously featuring the star of Toy Story. This is the animated um, cartoon version of um, Buzz Lightyear so it's an all new future like maybe it's not all new now because it's from like 2001 or something. But yeah um I haven't actually seen this, but apparently it's meant to be good fun. So I um, look forward to um, watching this at some point. And crap, disc there. there. Um, next one is a fish called Wanda from MGM Home Entertainment. This is the special edition, which is a two disc set stuffed to the girls with special features. And there's loads of special features on the back. And this has got like a the little booklet here, which I'll actually take out and show you. So we can get this out. It's got like an interesting booklet here with the cast and a bit of a dialogue and that going on there. Everything gets back in. And there's a disc one there and a disc two. And it's a PG in Ireland, so I think anybody like the age of eight or something would have been able to watch this. Because it's rated at 15 over here, obviously. Next one is The Terminal with Tom Hanks and Catherine Zeta-Jones, two-disc special edition from DreamWorks Home Entertainment. Uh, this is from 2005. Uh, I've not seen this, but apparently it's meant to be really, really, really good. Like, it's meant to be a really, really good film. And if it's got Tom Hanks in it, then guarantee it will be a really good movie. Uh, there's the disc itself there. There's disc one there. And uh, disc two. I'm showing you a lot of DVDs today with um, two discs, aren't I? Next one is... Simpsons Classics on your Max gets it. Do You know who released this, I don't need to say it. Which has got the four episodes, Faith Off, The Homer They Fall, Lisa on Ice, and Dancing Homer. Uh, not for our individual sale, so must have given with a box set or something. Comes with the chapter points inside, and there's the, the, there's the disc itself. <coughs> Sorry. The next one is uh, Richard Clayderman Live in Concert, uh, which is a Slam Dunk Media release from 2000 and Four, I think. Uh, yeah, 2004. Uh, I watched this yesterday. What an amazing concert. And he's probably an amazing pianist as well. Um, this is a really good concert as well. Really, really, really good. But I still prefer the one from... Uh, the one that I've got on video from 1983. The one that's over there. I prefer that one over to this. But this is still a really good concert. Next one is Mars Attacks. I just got this today from CX. I haven't even taken the sticker off yet. Nice planet, we'll take it. And that cover will probably make you dizzy, so look away now. Warner Home Video release. Uh, I'm not sure when this is from. Uh, 2014, even though the film itself is from 1996, so there would have been a lot of releases before this one. And it comes in like one of these recyclable cases, which we're, they were starting to use then. And quite a crap looking disc layout there. Uh, next one is Bridget Jones's Diary, or Diaries even, with Bridget, with the first one, Edge of Reason, and also the missing bits. So there'll be bits in this that you wouldn't have been able to see, see at the cinema. And the discs all come in like really, really shite packaging, they all come in like this one holder. So there's uh, Bridget Jones's Edge of Reason, the first one, and the missing bits. So I'll have to put all these back now. So, like, if I want to see the uh, the first one, I'll have to take the first two out. It's very annoying. 
And the final one, which I was actually keeping to last because they've got something quite interesting to show in this one. Uh, Love Actually, with a cast and a half. Uh, the ultimate romantic comedy. I haven't actually seen this, but apparently it's meant to be really, really good. Um, this is from 2004. Yeah, 2004. Uh, special features. And, yeah. And this is what the special thing I've watched to show you. Well, it comes with the standard case and everything. But the special thing that actually comes with this is um, some nice postcards, which I thought was quite interesting to show you. I'll take that last band off. Uh, so yeah, I was quite surprised when I got these. And they're uh, exclusive to Max and Spencer's. And someone's speaking to me on Snapchat, so I'll answer them in five minutes. And this is the disco self. So that's all the DVDs I've got now. So on to the videos. I've only got seven videos to show you, so it won't be long until I'll finish this update. First one is Legend, uh, with the best of Bob Mar Marley and the Bailers from Channel 5. Uh, this is from 1986. There was another release of this before this from Ireland World Records. But I don't have that. Uh, but it does have the Ireland Visual Arts logo on it, which I might upload to my uh, other account. I might upload the logo to it. Comes in the Channel 5 and Boss case. And there's the tip itself there with this white tip spine. And nothing on the bottom. Next one is one I've uploaded the opening to. Spot learns to count and spot tells the time from Temple Preschool. Um, this video is quite weird because actually it doesn't have the Temple Preschool promo on it like it usually does. So I'm assuming maybe the other one doesn't have it as well. Uh, the ABC one, which I don't have. Narrated by Peter Hawkins, who is the, the, the voice of Captain Bugwash. This is from 1991. And for some reason, some cheeky buggers ripped off the VDC sticker, I don't know why. Oh, shit. Next one is Jurassic Park. What an amazing movie this is, if you haven't seen it. Warning, this film contains sequences, which may particularly to serve to younger children of those of a sensible disposition. There is a trailer on this for uh, Jurassic Park, and it does say underneath it, like, suitable for young, younger children, when this isn't. So that doesn't really make it very fair, because, you know, universe are stupid like that. So I see video released from, I think, 1993, I think. Comes in this very cool box set um, case. There was another release of this as well, which had, like, a, was a stone box or something. It comes with an end label, the BBFC stuff on it, which that was mainly, mainly on rentals, you don't really find that on retails. And I had to speci specify that it's film's rated PG. But yeah, it's a very good movie, definitely go and see that. And if you've seen all of them then you're a huge fan. Next one is Tumble Tots Action Song Favourites from, um, this is released by AVD Video. This is from 1996. I did used to have this back in 2015, but I think I got rid of it. But I've got it back now, so it's fine. Uh, it comes with this thing inside for an exclusive offer. You can send away for a Lumi stick and beanbag. Or you can get two for the price of one even, because a lot of the songs in this video don't include these two things. And, yeah. Next two are both, well, they actually are all DreamWorks animation films. The first one of this is Shrek. This is a really, really good film. If you've not seen it, you must, you probably have seen it already. If you're animation fans, you probably have seen it all. I've seen it. The print date on this is the 17th of September, 2001. And it comes with an advert for other DreamWorks animated films. And also got um, Shrek 2 as well. Which is really, really good as well. With a surprise ending. And the print date, and this is the 22nd of, no, 21st of October 2004. And the final video, and the final thing for this update is Madagascar, the rental copy, featuring the penguins of Madagascar in a Christmas mission. Uh, this is on DreamWorks Home Entertainment, released in 2005. I had no idea this had a rental release. Well, I do now, obviously, because I got it. It comes with a bit of just another DreamWorks stuff, which is, whoops, shit. Which is quite odd to find that in, like, rentals. And this tip itself there comes from Anne Struver, 259, the tip's a bit cracked. And the print date, and this is the 27th of October 2005. 
So that's it. I'll see you next time.